Cambodia's dwindling fish stocks have put the spotlight once again on the stressed waterways of the Mekong River. Fish stocks are at the lowest levels and experts blame factors such as Chinese hydropower projects upstream for the dramatic drop in water levels. The situation along the lower Mekong is alarming, severely threatening food supplies for millions in Southeast Asia. Here's a report. This is the Mekong, one of the mightiest rivers on our planet. Nearly 60 million people in Southeast Asia depend on the Mekong for fishing and farming, but the fish are dying. The water flow is at a worrying level, and the people of Cambodia and neighboring countries are struggling. I noticed that the water level this year is way lower than the last two years by comparing the levels of the pipes on the concrete cliff over there. Comparing the water level to the pipes, it's about three meters lower than two years ago. Cambodian fisherman Tin Yosos says fish stocks have collapsed in the lower Mekong. He blames a number of factors including hydropower projects and sand mining. The reason that there are no fish now is because of the low water level. There is no mangrove area where the fish can lay eggs or have babies. The main reason is from very low water levels, so there's no fish. When we still caught a lot of fish, on a day fishing like this, we would catch about 30 kilograms. But now, we only catch just over a kilogram. There's no fish now. Chinese hydropower dams upstream are being blamed for the worsening situation. Mekong originates in Tibet and is a lifeline for Laos, Myanmar, Thailand, Cambodia and Vietnam downstream. But China is damming up the river. Beijing has constructed a series of eight dams just before the Mekong leaves Chinese-controlled territory. Three more are set to begin operations. Ten of these Chinese dams have been constructed in the last two decades. China has turned off the Mekong tap drastically impacting the flow of water and the free movement of fish. So we need to address the root causes of those changes and, 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 and re-establish the key processes like movement of fish upstream and downstream, uh, which is important because it's the life cycle of the fish. If you affect the life cycle of the fish, you lose the fish in the in long term. Uh, or the sediment balance or nutrient balance again, because it is the key equation. 20% of the world's freshwater fish catch is dependent on the monsoonal ebb and flow of the Mekong. Last year saw a record drought, with lower Mekong River levels the lowest in decades. The United States accused China of holding water in its 11 dams. Washington has urged lower Mekong governments to demand answers as their fishing communities endure to survive. I am so worried that we will not be able to survive from fishing when there are fewer and fewer fish in the future. But I have no other choice than doing this job, because I have no money to create another profession. Mekong River Commission recently urged China to release all data related to its dams. Thailand plans to highlight the impact of Chinese dams in MRC meetings and experts say the entire system is under stress in the lower Mekong. So first the connectivity, which uh, is mainly had the power, but, but uh, also uh, dikes and, uh, and sign mining, I would put in that category. Uh, second is land use change across the basin, so mainly loss of forest cover a conversion of wetlands, uh, mainly for agriculture, but also transport, uh, roads, for instance. China refutes all allegations, instead claiming that the MRC, which also includes Thailand, Laos, Cambodia and Vietnam, should, quote, avoid causing public misunderstanding. But data suggests that it is Beijing which may have a misunderstanding about the impact of Chinese dams on the 4,350 kilometer long river. Bureau report, we on World is One.